Hello, and welcome to another episode of Reading Reddit with Amber. I'm Amber. And I'm Fernando. This is Brian, <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be reading some Reddit for you. Fernando. You're still Brian. All right, our first story today. And I'm still Brian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> our first story today is... Am I the jerk for joking about my brother changing his last name? My mom invited us for dinner last weekend. Well, I mean, I guess it really depends. Like, did he change his name to a joke? Because, like, if it was, like, knock knock or something like that, or, you know, to get to the other side, then, yeah, that's actually probably a pretty good reason for uh, joking about his last name. Let's read the story and find out. I guarantee I'm assuming you that's, that not, that's, that's not the case. I'm making no. the assumption right away no. up front. My mom invited us for dinner last weekend. My brother and I both brought our partners. He is glued to her hip. I swear. Wow. I hate the word simp, but that's what best describes him. He should probably see a doctor about that glue. I knew you were going there. I (laughs) I was like, let's move on before he makes a joke. She was trying so desperately to move on. (laughs) I don't dislike her, but she is meh. Comes from a higher class family. All of them are at least masters, if not PhDs. Ew. Yeah, so gross. PhDs. PhDs. Once you have one in the household, they double. That's what I hear. (laughs) Well... (laughs) <laughs> that works for us. You notice it because she's a little spoiled. She also tries too hard with my mother, coming over frequently, cooking dishes from her country, pushing my brother to have more of an active relationship with my mom. All that. Wow, she sounds like a horrible influence. I know. <laughs> wanting to spend time with Opie's mom. Wanting to spend yeah. time cooking dinners. Yeah, I can already see why. Yeah, this this. Totally, totally justified. Basically, if she says jump, he will. At dinner, they informed us that my brother had proposed after a year of being with her. Mom was ecstatic. I said my congratulations, but bro, he is 24. So at dinner, we were talking and my boyfriend asked her if she was going to change her name. My brother said that he was going to take hers. LOL. His name is something like Smith. Hers is something super long, like Ramirez Rodriguez. I laughed a bit and basically said something like, look at you, and made the whip sound and the hand movement. For all of you wondering, I I figured you would provide them with an (laughs) illustration. The joke didn't land and we had a huge discussion. My brother told me that if I couldn't get myself in check, I could forget going to the wedding. Am I the jerk? So for someone who seems to not be able to stand up for himself, he did sure do a pretty good job of standing (laughs) up to his sister. (laughs) Or brother. Or brother. I guess it doesn't really... Yeah, I mean, it does. it's ambiguous. It's probably either one. So, or or whatever. Whatever gender OP is, I don't think it's ever specified, but I think no matter what OP's gender is, they are the jerk here. The joke didn't land for a reason. Yeah. Like, if no one thought laughed at the joke, then it wasn't a funny joke, and it probably wasn't a joke. <laughs> right. And it sounds like OP is maybe even, like, this is just not a healthy view of masculinity that OP has. Like, it seems like the fact that his brother does things for her girlfriend, or for his girlfriend, OP sees as like, oh, you're a simp because you actually treat your girlfriend with respect and listen to her. Well, in the, you know, the thing is, like, he makes it sound like the, you know, his brother is brainwashed or something like that, when it seems like what he's doing is just being nice and kind to, you know, his partner. And, you know, that's what partnerships are about, are being, you know, working to, you know, benefit your partner, right? Not just yourself, but also your partner. And, you know, also, you know, partnerships are about helping you to become a better person too. you know, um, becoming your best self. And by 
having him spend more time with uh, mom, it seems like that's a good situation, you know? It yeah, as long like as it's like perfectly a... healthy things here. Yeah, like, and there's nothing to say in here that indicates that the mom is a bad person that OP wouldn't, you know, his brother wouldn't or their brother wouldn't want to spend time around so and i mean this might be a little bit different of a situation if the fiance was forcing him to do things that weren't good or healthy or you know you know were manipulative or any number of things here but in this particular case the examples that he cited were pretty harmless examples like oh he's He's acting like a good human being, and she's cooking dinners. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and what people do with their last name when they get married is a very personal choice. And there's nothing wrong with guys deciding that they're going to take their female partner's last name. Like, yeah. um, It's not traditional for where we live, but, I mean, there's no reasons you can't create new traditions. Yeah, and so um, I think that the defaulting to, well, she takes his last name is old and really needs to be re-examined mm. so am i a jerk for not helping my child-free sister pay for a family vacation most of my siblings have kids and we wanted to do something special for them after the pandemic ended i pitched taking them all to disneyland since my kids love it and their kids have never been normally they couldn't afford the trip but i decided to pitch in and help them out I feel like my little nieces and nephews deserve it after being cooped up inside for a year. My child-free sister was also invited, but she couldn't afford it. She found out I was helping the others and asked if I could help her out as well, which I declined. She's been bitter towards me since, saying I was trying to exclude her from the family, etc. Am I the jerk for not wanting to pay for all this extra money to bring her on a trip to Disneyland meant for the children? She doesn't even like hanging out with the kids. I'm fine if she comes, but I just don't want to pay for it. Info. I'm paying for my nieces and nephew by splitting the trip cost 50-50 with each of my siblings. I pitched this as a vacation to cheer up the kids after they've been stuck inside all year long because of the pandemic. Info 2. Childless sister is 26 and lives with roommates and works as a waitress. And info three. Okay to all the people telling me I invited her to this trip knowing she can't afford it. Like, no, she heard about the trip and I told her she's free to come along if she wants because I'd be fine either way. So I think the info three is hard to reconcile. So in one respect, you know, they're saying, oh, she heard about the trip. But and then at the, the top of the post, it's like, I yeah. invited her, but well. Yeah, um, yeah, I invited her, wherever that is. Yeah, that very last line of the first paragraph. Oh, she was also invited, but couldn't afford it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It seems a little contradictory the way they have that written originally. Maybe they just meant that she heard about it, but it sounds like they were actually invited, invited. So, I, I mean, this is a difficult situation, and certainly. OP. What, what, what's your opinion here? I think OP's being a jerk here. And uh, I know people are going to say, well, it's OP's money, but she's specifically excluding, or they're specifically, ex OP is specifically excluding the one person in the family who doesn't have kids. And like, if OP was literally just taking all the children, mm -hmm. then that might be a different situation. But it sounds like the adults are coming too. Yeah. And so I think that's where it gets to be an issue is, yeah. like, this feels to me, especially by the way she emphasizes kids, 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 it feels like she's the type of person who, like, side-eyes millennials who go to Disney on their own and really doesn't think that adults who don't have kids are entitled to fun. And, like, this poor sister is, like, a waitress. Yeah. And during a pandemic, like, she deserves a break, too. Yeah. Well, the kids are just cooped up indoors. She actually has to work and serve people and put her health uh, and, you know, livelihood at risk here. I think the bit here that makes me a little less sympathetic towards OP is this sentence that I highlighted here, where I'm paying for my nieces and nephews by splitting the trip cost 50 50 with each of my siblings if they had said i'm just paying for 50 50 for the kids that might be a little more ra justified i think 
Well, I'm not even sure from like the, the the language is ambiguous enough that I don't know if they are splitting with the kids or the adults or both. So, yeah. um, but I think regardless, I still think it's not a very nice thing to do to basically plan a family activity knowing that one of your family members would love to come but doesn't have the money for it. Yeah, well, it is not a very it's it's it is a little exclusionary. So, like, if you were my my philosophy is if they're splitting fifty fifty with each of the families or that other family, it doesn't. I don't know. I think it's just one other family group, isn't it? I don't know. Um, it's hard to say. It's ambiguous. Then would it really be that big of a deal to split the cost with their you know sister fifty fifty? Well, in nowhere does Opie say that this would be a financial hardship. Yeah, it just sounds like they don't want to pay because their sister doesn't have children. And which is really unfortunate way of looking at things like Disney is for everyone who wants to go. Um, I actually do a lot of Disney bounding. And so I've never been to Disney myself, but, you know, I have a, a lot of an Instagram account that's devoted to primarily Disney bounding. Um, and so all the time my feed is filled with adults, many who don't have children who love Disney and are going and uh, or have very many happy memories of Disney. Like it's really an all ages place. And so to act like the sister without kids is wrong or bad. First of all, it seems like they don't like her because she doesn't have kids. But 26, like, first of all, it's fine not to have kids no matter what. But also, she's 26. Yeah. You know? No, 26 isn't that old either. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Like, the way she sounds at the outset, she goes from, like, child-free sister, making it sound like her sister is adamant against having kids, and ends by saying childless sister. Yeah. Using completely different terminology, which means very different things. So I'm not clear whether op's sister and it doesn't matter what her reproductive things are though that was a tangent i know where you're going with that and speaking of like i know you said you've never been to disney but i on the other hand i mean i actually lived in the disney castle for my entire childhood and i uh i'm actually you've never been to the, disney either i'm actually the child of mickey mouse and so i like i understand like that this is like the greatest place in the earth right it's it's, it's just a place everyone wants to go what? You've never been to Disney either. <laughs> I grew up in the Disney Castle, Amber. You grew up in Charleston, Maine. <laughs> that is not the Disney Castle, not by any stretch of the imagination. You know, you know, it it's got a lot of cows, and th that's that's the Disney Castle for you. Lots of cows. <laughs> we don't think so. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, my, my overall feeling here is if you want to do some kind of family outing and offer financial assistance to family members based on the kids they have, that seems kind of like shady and I don't like that. Uh, of course, you're legally allowed to do that, but it makes you morally kind of a jerk. All right. Our last story is, am I the jerk for telling my wife that our kids don't owe us anything? So basically during dinner, the subject of kids came up can't remember why, and basically all three of our kids don't want bio kids. Our eldest is kind of neutral on the topic of kids and says it's up to his future partner whether or not he adopts. This has really upset my wife. She says that every parent looks forward to the day they get to become a grandparent. I told her that if any of our kids adopted, she would still be a grandma. She got upset and said it's not the same. I told her they are still kids, 17-year-old male, 15-year-old female, 13-year-old female, and that their opinions could change. During this conversation, I said something along the lines of, also, they don't owe you or me anything, it's their bodies. This ticked my wife off, and she started yelling that there's nothing wrong with her wanting and hoping for real grandkids. I'm gonna put that in quotes right here. Uh, so you know my feelings already. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter if they have kids or not. I would love to be a grandparent, but that's not my decision. Also, they're still kids, them having children is a long way away, and their opinions may change as they grow. However, I feel like I could have handled the situation so much better and that what I said was hurtful, so am I the jerk? So I think Opie actually has a really healthy perspective on this here. I don't think that he's in the wrong at all. Um, I think that's a really, really good way to look at the situation, because your kid's don't owe you anything and that is their bodies and their reproductive uh, futures that OP's wife is 
obsessed with, or that's the wrong word, not obsessed, but you know, she's fix, she's kind of fixated on, um, and uh, everything he says is spot on. I mean, they may change their minds, they may not, they may cho- choose to adopt, and if they do, those will still be real grandchildren. Yeah. And even if they don't have kids, it's their bodies and their choice. Well, and another important thing here is like parents who try forcing their kids to have grandkids that tends not to go very well and you know they're all so young right now like 17 does she want a 17 year old to start having kids that's <laughs> that's a little like they haven't even gone through college. they haven't even graduated high school yet this is a really really early time to be talking about those kinds of things and like they have plenty of time to make up their mind as to whether or not they want children and like you do you really think a 15 year old wants kids or a 13 year old kid wants kids right then and there right that's not not even a really healthy thing to even like i mean some kids are really gung-ho about having kids and some are really opposed to it and a lot of people change where they're at on either side over time so um which is totally fine and valid. A lot of people also stick to whatever position they had when they were teenagers. So, yeah, I mean, I think, first of all, she's worrying over nothing because they're kids. And this isn't like, why are you worried about what would be happening? Hopefully down the line once they're already, you know, established and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Um, and then also, though, like, why would you want your... If your kids don't want to be parents, why would you want to force them into parenthood? Like, I feel yeah. like parenthood should be it's a huge responsibility and it's something that people should ideally go into really wanting Mm -hmm. you know kids should feel wanted and loved and like even people who really want to be parents are going to have hard rough days where they don't want to be parents but people who don't want to be parents in the first place are probably going to have a lot harder of a time being good parents to children they didn't want yeah well and again i think you said it well when you said that op has a good perspective here and that they aren't obligated none of their kids are obligated to provide them with children yeah so and i don't think there's anything wrong with like hoping in the back of your head that your kids will have kids but i think the problem is she's vocalizing this in a way that could be hurtful well and again like instead of being like oh well, you know, you still have a long time. Don't worry about locking yourself into any kind of decision right now. Um, she's like, you must have children. <laughs> right. Like, she's just pushing this on them. Like, so it would be one thing if she was just thinking this to herself and keeping it internally because we all have things that we want to see out of our futures. But the fact that she's actively voicing this to her partner and probably to her children as well, um, that's where things are getting a little bit iffy, I would say. And where I think it's important for OP to shut this kind of conversation down. Oh. All right. So. Oh. <laughs> do you want to do the outro? No, no. You go ahead. Oh. Um, I, I can't even remember what I usually say for my outro. I think you say something like, oh, all right. That's, I don't know. <laughs> no. All right. So these are all the stories we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving it a like. If you didn't, I don't say that. That's what Brian says. Uh, if you did, consider giving it a like or letting me know in the comments. Uh, we got her all wrapped around confused. <laughs> yes. Yes. Living with this dude confuses me sometimes. Well, um, and I, uh, oh gosh. Let's try this one more time. If, if you like today's video, consider giving it a like or letting me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, why do I even?